was dedicated in memory of my sisters and my mother, moment of silence. Let's get it cracking. <laughs> All right, look, today we got a great one. It's age old interracial dating. Yo, how would you feel or react if your kid brought home somebody of a different race? So what? Yeah. <laughs> how would you react? But you know what? What we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a little magic for you. Don't mess this up, man. Don't mess this I'm up. Ready for, I'm you ready. ready for this? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Yes. Ah, that was hot. That was hot. <laughs> hey, we want to welcome Marcus to the show. Marcus, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, man. Hello. Buddy. I'm excited to be here. That's what's up. Yeah, Marcus, tell us a little bit about what you do, because we understand that you do some, some poetry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a spoken word poet. I have uh, three books out, so I go around the city and perform, and then I uh, go and travel and do shows as well. So, okay, that's yeah. what's up. Also, we know you're connected with the, uh, is that a Post and Courier? Yeah, I'm the editor of the preview section of the Post and Courier. Comes oh, out, wow. comes out every Thursday. Thursday, free in the city. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. We focus on entertainment, music, uh, movies, all kinds of stuff. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why we're yeah, yeah. not in the preview. Well, that, that's, that's going to happen soon. Entertainment. That's oh. going to happen very oh, okay. soon. Okay, y'all hear that? Right. It's going to happen very soon. We waiting for the preview. <laughs> it's coming out. It's going to happen okay. very soon. That's, that's what's, what's up. up Yo, man. congratulations on all that. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, yeah, you, you heard our topic. Um, how would you feel if your kid came home? What would you do and how would it impact you? What would be your views if your child came home with somebody from the opposite race? First of all, it would be kind of scary because I don't have any kids, so that would be scary if the yeah, kid came. Yeah. I'd be like, no, no. But otherwise than that, no, I mean, love is a beautiful thing. I don't feel like uh, anybody should ever deny it if you have an opportunity with anybody. You shouldn't deny it. So um, I don't mind if it's a different race or whatever. Okay. Now, you know, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this show is because, you know, I'm, I'm just going to keep it real. In the, in the African-American community, yeah. we are quick. To, to call somebody a racist if they have that point of if they have a point of view. <laughs> so true. particularly if a white person says, hey, I don't want my kid dating somebody of a, a different race, particularly black, we immediately think that they're racist, right? Uh -huh. This topic that, is that a happens. Banger, you know, man. That happens. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> Sweating. but Sweating. but all before we didn't we never thought that they were racist. So now mm -hmm. all of a sudden we say, well I didn't know they were like that. So yeah. uh, the point I'm I, I want to bring out is that if it's you, you yeah. know, how would you really feel? You know, because um, I think as a parent that maybe we just trying to protect our kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, since he doesn't have kids, uh, where do you stand with the interracial relationship? It doesn't matter at all to you? No, it doesn't actually. Okay. I feel like, uh, I guess I grew up in a military family, so I lived all around the world and I was able to meet a lot of different types of people. Um, so it's for me, it's more about your personality and less about what color skin you are, you know. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I'd rather have, you know, if somebody is an angry person, I don't want them dating angry people. You know, I want them to date. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, don't it's, worry about it's, angry. it's whether it's like they're nice or angry or whatever. It's not about black or white. So. Okay. All right. Well, okay. so now the the traditional black man being angry, a uh, sister. You know, with the with the white guy, somebody from the opposite race. Do you yeah. do you have that reaction? No, I don't actually. I'm I'm kind of a hippie when it comes to this. So <laughs> no, like no, you I don't have that tell? reaction. <laughs> I know by my no, hair. No, no, <laughs> you a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like it's just a, um, I just feel like you know that is a great thing because over time uh, we are our whole society is going to evolve, or that's not even going to be an issue. So that's what I think a lot because you yeah. you can just see you know you meet more people, the world is bigger. Yeah. I just think soon everybody's going to be just one people. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah no doubt. True. That's my John Lennon moment. Nice, nice. <laughs> 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 nice man, and and with the uh, administration, you know things are changing. So I feel like feel like people's conscience is sort of changing. So. Yeah, because you know everybody's yeah. saying that we have a black president, but we got a biracial yeah, president. Yeah, yeah. You know that's the beautiful thing about yeah, it. Take it oh, where yeah. you can get it, brother. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's, yeah. It's, I think it's great that we have a biracial president. Yes, yes. And I'm not you know I'm not trying to join on him being black because he is black, but mm -hmm. he's also biracial. So yeah. just to have somebody that represents both races that's in the White cool, House. Man. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of hot. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful hot. thing. It's a beautiful yeah, no, thing. We call it the biracial house now? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh, clever, clever. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm you. just saying. Yo, you. you know what? We need more real people like you, man. All right, thank I applaud you. you for being a good person I like appreciate that. You know that. what I mean? All right, you know what, Marcus? You know, it's your first time in the chair. Well, we yeah. appreciate it. Uh, but everybody gets this. Yeah. What, must go down, Must my go down. brother. Don't, <laughs> don't go anywhere. We got a magic trick coming up. We got another guest. Let's, you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Bam! Ah, yo, where'd you come from? <laughs> Whoa!
That was cool. <laughs> wow. Yo, how did that feel? That whole I don't know, traveling. Man.